We have more breaking news for you tonight. Former Miami Congressman David Rivera is facing federal charges tonight. The Miami Republican was a member of the U.S. House of Representatives for one term from 2011 to 2013. CBS Force Jim DeFiti has spent the last hour working his sources. So, Jim, what can you tell us about this? Uh, I got to tell you, this is, we just got our hands on the indictment. It's a 34-page indictment. It's a nine-count indictment that includes, you know, his failure to register as a foreign agent. It also talks about money laundering and using proceeds from an illegal activity. Now, what this stems from is David Rivera signed a contract, a consulting contract, to essentially represent the government of Nicolas Maduro and Venezuela back in 2000. 2017. He had been paid, the contract was supposed to pay him upwards of $50 million to facilitate relationships between the Venezuelan government and dictator Nicolas Maduro and the United States of America. Now, Rivera has always claimed that in the past that, that he was basically conning the Venezuelan government and taking their money. But as these documents make clear, uh, this, was, this was a concerted effort uh, in which he actually did lobby members of Congress. I will tell you one of the most interesting parts of this is that it doesn't identify the members of Congress who he lobbied, but on page two of the indictment, it identifies U.S. Senator number one as a United States Senator from Florida. Now, that means it's either Rick Scott or Marco Rubio. It de detail goes into great detail about meetings between Rivera and U.S. Senator number one. Now, a little bit of more background on U.S. Senator number one and David Rivera, as you may or may not know, David Rivera is very close to and friends with U.S. Senator Marco Rubio. They were they owned a home together when they served in the legislature together. Uh, the co-person indicted in here, Esther Newfer, was a longtime employee of Marco Rubio. So while we can't be certain that the U.S. Senator mentioned in the indictment is Marco Rubio, it certainly is going to raise some questions for Marco Rubio to to respond to just be clear Rubio is not charged with any wrongdoing but Rubio in interviews with me and others has denied he had any knowledge of Rivera representing the Venezuelan government yet this indictment details numerous meetings between David Rivera and US Senator from Florida number one talking about normalizing relations with Venezuela setting up meetings uh, it's it's quite detailed meetings Meetings in private homes, meetings at hotels, text messages. There's even one text message where you, you know, it talks about you know, how U.S. Senator number one would meet with the president, then Donald Trump, to sort of facilitate these negotiations between Venezuela and the United States. We're going to get a lot more into this in the days ahead. This is very explosive material we've got here. Rivera is was it charged in Atlanta. He's being transferred to Florida. We expect him in court soon. And we know that Marco Rubio has been very involved in U.S. policy toward uh, Venezuela. So it'll be very interesting uh, to find out what his office has to say about this. Uh, Jim DeFiti, thank you very much. We'll be hearing more from you.